What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and one question I get asked quite a lot is who are the top 10 meta players in the game? So we're going to go through it. Obviously we've been bombarded with packs, especially in-game meta players over the last couple of weeks. But obviously a lot of people will always go back to the same, you know, maybe 10 to 15 players. And this is going to be a list of those top 10 meta players. Not my personal favorite players that I like to use, but what everybody is using, especially top rank. So we're going to start off with the new double booster, Johan Cruyff. The double boosters have kind of added a lot to the end game cards, right? So every double booster that comes out, there's no real weakness in them, right? They have potential to be the best cards that they've ever released because you can train them in such a variety of ways. And this Johan Cruyff as a deep line forward has really taken over that space and he comes in at number 10. The ninth most popular player at the moment, from talking to people, from talking to, talking to top rank, from playing the game obviously excessively myself, and really doing a lot of research, is Kylian Mbappe. Now, any version of Mbappe will do with the player ID, but this one is definitely the best. Surprise, surprise, Frank Rijkaard only comes in at number 8. Don't take the positioning of these two seriously, more so the top 5 is probably where it's at, but... Right card, this card, his levels let him down. Araujo, one of the best defensive fullbacks they ever released in the game, is still in a lot of top 50 ranked players in the world's squads. And for good reason, he has no weakness at all. Speaking of a card with no weakness, we have to feature Leo Messi. So Messi comes in at 6th in the list of the top 10 meta players. And this card has been used a lot in the last couple of weeks, with the way the game plays at the moment, this Messi is superb. And it's just a card that you will consistently be able to go back to. No weakness, 106 overall in-game. He's got unbelievable kicking power. He's got brilliant, brilliant balance, speed, dribbling type possession, low pass, finishing. Whatever way you want to train him, you can have something with this creative playmaker. So who's going to come in number five? Well, it's Peter Schmeichel. Now, I would potentially not have any goalkeepers in my personal top ten. But obviously this is the top 10 meta players of the top 10 that ranked players are using as well and what people are using. Schmeichel again has no weakness whatsoever. Every one of his goalkeeper stats, including jumping for a goalkeeper this tall, is over 90. Again, as I keep saying, this is what the, the top 10 of the, what the players are using at the moment, right? The most popular players. Lillian Toram brings us into the top 4. I potentially... I think Toram is an interesting one. Pound for pound, he's probably the best defensive fullback in the game in terms of his speed, his acceleration, and his just player ID is phenomenal. Lovely height, lovely weight, everything about him is perfect. And he's kind of like a better version of Puyol that has got a better uh, play style than Puyol. Puyol is obviously down as a destroyer. Cannavaro definitely gets a look in here as well, but Toram seems to be used more. And then we're into the top three with Rude Hollett coming in as third, right? So Rude Hollett... A lot of people will feature Hollett in their top three, even in their top two, or even their top one. Personally, for me, I do agree with the top choice of the most meta player in the game, and it isn't Hollett for me either. I think that Hollett is just one of the most unique cards. You can train him in any position you want, really, and he will dominate with his player ID, even in CMF, AMF, wherever. Sammy Leto is the best striker in the game in the eyes of pretty much any top-ranked player. You will have a couple of variations here, but Sammy Leto definitely is a guy that is a goal a game. He's super run and gun, as in you can pick the ball up with him and just run, 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 and shoot, shoot, shoot. And he's going to score more often than not. Has no weakness either in this card, even if his stats don't look, you know, quite as high. And last but not least, we have our top rank meta player in the game. Now, as I said, if you prefer Hullet, a lot of people are kind of like choosing the new Hullet as their main, main guy, right? You might have somebody else that features on this list that isn't in the list at all, but Patrick Vieira, lads, for me, and I have to agree with what most of the top rank are playing as well, right? I will do my own personal list on this as well, and it will be a bit different, but Patrick Vieira, in my opinion, lads, is just the most broken card in the game. He is the hardest card that I usually face. He's usually the first player that I have in my squad, and I've played with him since day one. His old card all the way up to his new booster, so... Let me know what you guys think. Did I, you know, do you agree with this? These are kind of players that the top 50 in the world are using. The most meta players, the most broken players, and how you can train them, the player ID. Obviously, you'll all have your own personal favorites. So let me know in the comments below if there's any mistakes in this or anything that you disagree with. Did I miss Pirlo? Did I miss Tommy Yashu? Did I, did I miss Romario? Did I miss Hoynes? Any of these boys can come in here and do a job for you. What about Beckham, Bale, any of these? But let me know in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one.